my friends, how are you all doing? Today, I wanted to talk you through the supplements that I am currently taking to help me along my fat loss journey. Before we get into my list, I wanna make one thing abundantly clear. Well, two things abundantly clear. Number one, you do not need supplements to lose fat. Supplements are not necessary. You can do anything that you need to do without supplements. Number two, there are no supplements that are going to do the work for you. No supplement exists that is actually going to burn fat for you. I'm feeling some of you may have clicked on this video hoping that I would have some magic pill that's just going to help you burn fat and I hate to crush your hopes and dreams at the very beginning of a video, but there is no magic pill. Nothing on my list is going to make you just drop 10 pounds of fat right away. Nothing on anyone's list is actually going to make you drop 10 pounds of fat right away, even if that's what they're claiming. It's just that it does not exist. You might be thinking, Marissa, what about like fat burners? That's what they're designed to do is burn fat. Here's the thing with fat burners. Because they are stimulants, they increase your heart rate. And so they can claim if your heart beats like literally three more times than it would normally during the day, that it's burning fat because it takes extra calories to fuel that pumping of the heart. But they don't make any measurable difference in fat loss. And in my opinion, they stand to cause a lot more harm than good because there's so many ingredients in there that can actually be negative for your health, particularly your gut health. Now, the good news is that there are some supplements that can help with the process. And those are the ones that I'm going to talk about today. But I just want to make sure that none of you are wasting your money on false promises from supplements that really aren't going to do much for you. So with that being said, the general principle for supplements is that they should be used supplementarily. They should be used specifically for what you need to fill in any gaps that you may have in certain areas. So these supplements that I'm about to run you through are ones that I do think most people could benefit from, but they're also ones that I'm specifically taking to fill in the gaps in my like fitness and health life in order to further fat loss. So if there's something that I'm more struggling with that you're super solid on, then some of these supplements might not be useful for you. I am not recommending these to everyone. I'm just sharing with you what I am personally taking and why. So with that big disclaimer out of the way, let's dive into the list. Before we do, if you're excited to learn all about fat burning supplements that aren't actually fat burning supplements, they just aid in fat loss indirectly, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow me along my fat loss journey. And without further ado, let's get into Number one. Funnily enough, number one is something that I am not currently partaking in, but would if I needed to, but it is probably the most important thing. And that is to fill in the gaps in vitamin and mineral deficiencies that you may have. So the number one recommendation for supplements that I like to give is go get your levels tested, like go get a blood test and see if you are deficient in any vitamins and minerals. If you are, Priority number one should be supplementing those into your diet through like whole foods. But if that is not enough, if you still have a deficiency, that's when you should turn to a supplement. And filling in these gaps is key to promoting an overall healthy body, making your metabolism run properly. All of these vitamins and minerals interact in different metabolic reactions. And so if you're deficient in one of those, you could be majorly just changing how your metabolism functions. And as soon as you are getting a sufficient amount, your metabolism might just start churning through calories a lot easier because it has what it needs to be able to function properly. Last time I got my levels tested, I wasn't deficient in anything, so I haven't been taking anything. I should probably go get tested sometime soon. So if I do have a deficiency, I will A, start to try to supplement it into my diet, probably get checked another three months later. If I'm still deficient, then I will take an actual supplement. The second thing that I recommend, the first thing that I am personally taking to supplement my nutrition is a really good protein powder. Protein is an essential macronutrient, as in your body cannot synthesize it. You have to get it through diet. And if you don't, you, you will die. die. But protein is also extremely satiating and eating enough of it can also aid in weight loss. A study that was done in 2008 showed that subjects who consumed adequate protein while trying to lose weight had greater weight loss and stronger weight maintenance. So they were less likely to regain the weight once they lost it. A 2011 study showed that a higher protein intake 
intake in a lower calorie diet resulted in greater satiety and less desire to snack at night. And adequate protein intake is also key to improving your body composition instead of just losing weight. So what this means is if you intake adequate amount of protein, you're going to be able to hang on to more muscle mass as you lose fat. And so you will end up at a lower body fat percentage rather than just losing muscle and fat and maybe ending up at a higher body fat percentage. So adequate protein means about one gram per pound of lean mass, not total body weight, lean mass. And what I recommend is getting your protein through whole unprocessed foods, like prioritizing meat, plant-based sources of protein and doing it that way because those sources of protein are gonna have much higher bioavailability. Your body's going to be able to break it down and utilize it a lot better and more efficiently. So aim to get your protein through whole unprocessed foods. Again, supplements, as I said, should be used supplementarily. So I have been loving the Four Sigmatic protein powder specifically and the way I'm using it is if I have a day where I'm for some reason struggling to get enough protein, like if I'm just super busy that day and don't have time to cook like a real meal, or if I decide I wanna have pancakes for breakfast instead of having something with protein, then I can add protein to that to boost my protein intake. Most days, I do not use protein powder. I use protein powder maybe once a week maximum. But it's super helpful to have it on hand for those days where I just need an extra little boost. And I can't recommend the Four Sigmatic protein powder specifically enough. Like if I were to create my own protein powder, it would be this protein powder. It is so clean, no gums, no fillers, no lecithins, no artificial sweeteners, no sugar alcohols. Like it's all super clean, super natural. It is a plant-based source of protein and it includes pea, hemp, chia, pumpkin, and coconut protein. So it has a diverse array of sources of plant-based protein, which is key because if you only have one, you probably aren't getting all of the amino acids. It's packed full of adaptogens, which is like my favorite part. And then the rest of the ingredients are just super clean. This is the unflavored one. I have to say I am definitely partial to the chocolate one and the peanut butter one. Oh, they're so good. You guys saw the other day, my peanut butter protein bacon waffles. Ugh. It was the protein powder that made those delicious. I mean, and the bacon. The next thing that I am supplementing with nutritionally is a probiotic. Your gut is a haven for trillions of mutually beneficial microbes that make up your gut microbiome. The gut bacteria are their own ecosystem that are involved in so many different processes. It affects your entire body, but some examples are it does affect your metabolism, it affects digestion, it can affect your brain power, etc. And microbial diversity, as in the number of like different bacterial species that colonize your gut controls your metabolism and thus fat loss. So I like to take a probiotic in order to encourage the population of my gut with good bacteria. Now here's the thing, probiotics do not directly colonize within your gut. So the bacteria that is in here does not go into my gut and actually like stay there and diversify my gut. That's not how probiotics work. And if a company is trying to sell you on the fact that it's going to colonize your gut, that is False. What the bacteria and probiotics do do is interact with the existing microbiome, the immune cells, dietary nutrients, and everything else that's in there to promote a healthier gut. I have been using the seed probiotic and I have to say I am absolutely loving it. It is a really, really great product and the company is absolutely amazing. Next, let's dive in to the different things that I am taking to boost exercise performance and results. And the first like supplement genre that I want to dive into is pre-workouts. Now here's the thing about your traditional pre-workout. It tends to be full of a bunch of different things that A, are scientifically not proven to do literally anything, and then B, can potentially cause harm, particularly to your gut. Like, I do not recommend your traditional pre-workout. In fact, I made an entire video about why I don't recommend pre-workouts. However, that doesn't mean I don't recommend taking something to boost the efficacy of your workout. I just don't like the traditional pre-workouts. I take pre-workout only on days that I need a little boost. Like if I didn't get such a good night's sleep or if for some reason my motivation is lacking or just any time when I'm just feeling a little like, 
not feeling it, you know? And I wanna feel it, but I don't feel it. So I take a pre-workout or something that's gonna give me a little bit of boost so that I can go actually smash out my workout. So my two favorite things to take are number one, the Focus Shot from Four Sigmatic. These by far are my favorite pre-workout. Now, they're designed more specifically to help you focus, but I find that when I'm focusing better, my workouts just go a ton better. So the ingredients that are in here that I absolutely love as a pre-workout are number one, Lion's Mane. Lion's Mane is an adaptogen that has been shown to boost brain power and focus, and there are a lot of different studies that look into this. In one study, they took mice with the mouse equivalent of Alzheimer's disease and gave them Lion's Mane, and they showed improvement in a variety of cognitive tests. The next ingredient in here that I love as a boost for a workout is rhodiola. Now rhodiola not only also helps with brain power and focus, but it actually improves endurance and exercise performance. One double blind placebo controlled study in particular took patients with stress related fatigue and supplemented with rhodiola for four weeks. And then it took a series of cognitive and performance based tests. And what they found is the treatment group had significantly improved fatigue levels, ability to concentrate mental performance and response to stress. And then lastly, it does have a little bit of caffeine from Guayusa in it. Since I do not drink caffeine regularly, it only takes a little bit to like give me that little boost, that little edge that's gonna push me through a workout, which is in my opinion, one of the biggest benefits of not taking a pre-workout every time, because if your body starts to adapt to it, then you either have to take more and more or the effects start to wear off. So this is just 50 milligrams of caffeine in it, but for me, it's absolutely perfect. The second pre-workout that I love to take and also gives me an amazing boost is the Cordyceps Coffee from Four Sigmatic. This video is not sponsored by Four Sigmatic, I promise you. I just realized that the first three out of four products. This is the last one from Four Sigmatic. I just use their products all the time because I love them. But I love taking the Cordyceps Coffee before a workout as well. This also has 50 milligrams of caffeine in it. And then Cordyceps are like the key ingredient that I love to have before a workout that really helps boost my endurance and my stamina. The body's primary source of energy is ATP. And it is this breakdown of ATP that gives your muscles fuel and energy to push you through a workout. And it is thought that Cordyceps help boost the production of ATP within the body, giving you better endurance and stamina and force and power generation, etc. And again, there are many studies that look at this as well. There's one study that took 36 male participants and gave them either placebo or cordyceps and measured them over the course of a few weeks. And they found that those that took cordyceps had improved force generation capacity as well as reduced fatigue. So basically what I recommend for a pre-workout is a little bit of coffee combined with one of those three adaptogens, lion's mane, rhodium, and or cordyceps. Speaking of which, if you want to learn more about adaptogens, I have an entire ebook about them called Adaptogens 101. Adaptogens can help with everything from exercise to sleep to stress to mental health, etc. So if you want to learn more, dive into the research, you can check that out. I'll link it down in the description. Oh, I do, I, I got this out as well. I have just pure rhodiola capsules if I don't want the caffeine one day. And honestly, since I don't have caffeine that often, I do dip into this occasionally when I am looking for a little bit of a boost. The next exercise related supplement that I have for you guys is something that is not only very thoroughly proven to be safe, but also very thoroughly proven to be effective at boosting strength and building muscle. And this supplement is creatine. Now I am not currently taking creatine. I kind of cycle on and off of it. It's been a while since I've taken it. Don't know when exactly I'm gonna start taking it again, but maybe sometime soon. But if there's one supplement that pretty much everyone can slash maybe should take, it is creatine. There is a small portion of the population that gets digestive issues taking it, so if that is you, don't take it. But other than that, it is very safe and very effective. Creatine supplementation increases your muscle stores of phosphocreatine. And phosphocreatine is a key player in synthesis of ATP, which as we talked about, is your muscle's main source of energy. So the easier your body can synthesize ATP and the more that it can synthesize, the stronger you'll be, the more endurance you'll have, the better you'll be able to power through your workout. And this fact alone, the fact that it allows your body to more efficiently synthesize ATP, boost performance in everything from 
<clears throat> strength to ballistic power, sprint ability, muscle endurance, resistance to fatigue, muscle mass recovery, and brain performance. But not only does creatine boost exercise performance, which in turn is going to help you build more muscle, it also directly helps you build more muscle by boosting the formation of proteins that help create new muscle fibers. So creatine is an all around amazing supplement, can't recommend it enough. And now I wanna get into the less sexy but still just as important supplements that will help improve sleep and improve stress levels. Now I've talked about the importance of sleep at length before, but in short, a lack of sleep, either quantity or quality, will do so many things to your body that make fat loss so much more difficult. So if you can get your sleep optimized, you can optimize your fat loss as well. Just one example of how sleep can impact fat loss is that if you are not getting enough sleep, your body will increase its production of leptin and ghrelin, which are two hunger hormones that signal to your body, hey, I'm hungry, we need to eat. That's gonna make being in a calorie deficit very, very difficult. If you wanna learn more about the importance of sleep when it comes to fat loss, I will link my video about sleep and fat loss and muscle building down in the description box below. But for now, my first recommendation for a supplement that is going to boost your sleep quality is CBD oil. In general, CBD for sleep, your endocannabinoid system is a system that is inherent in your body and it is attached to basically all other systems in your body. So all systems in your body have cannabinoid receptors, which are part of the endocannabinoid system. So cannabinoids, as in CBD, THC, CBG, CBDA, all of the different cannabinoids can influence basically all systems in your body. And the endocannabinoid system works to balance out your body. So how CBD oil comes into play is CBD binds with these CB receptors in your endocannabinoid system and causes them to upregulate the production of anandamide. Anandamide is the bliss molecule and an increase in anandamide in the body reduces cortisol levels, which is going to minimize stress and help you sleep better. When my sleep got completely disrupted by a bunch of health issues, the one thing that really helped me get a much better sleep was using the Ned CBD oil. Like it made such a big impact. No other brand had helped me at all, but the Ned was there to save the day and help me like actually sleep more than five hours at a time. It was amazing and it's still amazing. I'm still taking it regularly in order to promote good sleep. And I cannot recommend Ned enough if you're looking for a good CBD brand. It's all organic, really well sourced, really well processed. The founders of the company are the most amazing people on the planet. It is the highest quality CBD product on the market. So if you are looking into CBD, I highly recommend checking out Ned. I'll link everything down in the description box, by the way. I feel like that should be just like standard procedure by now, but just to let you know, everything is linked down in the description box. The next sleep related supplement that I highly recommend is a good quality magnesium. Deficiency in magnesium has been shown to cause insomnia, restlessness, poor quality sleep, basically just bad sleep in every way, shape, and form. Magnesium plays a crucial role in getting the deep restorative sleep that your body needs, not only to like be healthy, but also to allow it to burn fat more efficiently as well as build muscle. Magnesium promotes the production of GABA, which is a neurotransmitter that is essential in this process. If I'm gonna recommend a brand for magnesium, I really recommend the Natural Stacks brand because not only the quality is absolutely amazing, like everything that their brand does is top quality, but this magnesium specifically has three different kinds of magnesium in it. It has the magnesium glycinate that is the one that really promotes like optimal sleep, but it also includes magnesium taurate, which improves the absorption of magnesium. So when you combine the two, you get even more effective magnesium. And then also it also includes magnesium L3 and 8, which not only is good for the magnesium part, but it also boosts brain health and cognition. So you get like a triple whammy of magnesium with this. So it's really good. And then this would not be a misfit and nerdy video if I didn't address all four pillars of health. So we have stress. Stress not only increases hunger hormones, which is not helpful when you're trying to be in a deficit, but it also increases the release of cortisol and beta trophin, which increase the storage of abdominal fat, as well as slow the metabolism metabolism respectively. If you are struggling with stress, I have a full video about different ways to help manage stress. It's called how to stay fit after a breakup, but it applies to like 
all stress in general. So I will link that down in the description below. But for now, the best supplement that I have ever used to help with stress and one that my clients have also had a lot of success with is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha was my first introduction to the world of adaptogens and it changed my life. It is and forever will be my favorite adaptogen. Actually, I really like lion's mane. It's a tie between ashwagandha and lion's mane, not gonna lie, but it's amazing. Ashwagandha has been shown to be beneficial for many different things. Again, you can learn about it if you get my ebook Adaptogens 101, but it is best studied for its effects on stress and in lowering cortisol. Overall, a decrease in cortisol noted in humans in research is between 14 and 30%, which is significantly more than like any other supplement on the market. There is quite a bit of research on ashwagandha, but one study in particular took 100 participants and measured their response to ashwagandha in varying amounts, as well as placebo over the course of 60 days. And in addition to cortisol levels and anxiety symptoms being reduced with ashwagandha supplementation, they also saw a decrease in C-reactive protein, pulse rate, blood pressure, and fasting glucose, which are all indicators that ashwagandha helped reduce the stress response in the body. Crucial four is my official brand recommendation for ashwagandha. They source it impeccably and with things like ashwagandha or adaptogens in general, the sourcing is so, so important as well as the extraction process because so much can go wrong. You can be getting like not what you think you're getting. So getting a good brand is really important when you're getting adaptogens. So those are the supplements that I am currently using to boost my health boost the efficiency of my body and thus help promote fat loss within my body as I am in a calorie deficit while lifting heavy, actively trying to lose some fat. Again, none of these are necessary at all. They just help me fill in the gaps in my health and fitness life that I need filling that will ultimately help my body function more smoothly and lose fat. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about any kinds of supplements, whether or not certain things are effective, if there's any like general ideas about supplements that you have questions about, let me know. In the meantime, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it really did support me and my channel. I really super appreciate it. Please share this video with your friends, your family, stick it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram stories, etc. If you want to see more videos from me following my fat loss journey or just about fitness and health in general, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos and I will see you very soon. Bye.